Тастер там под названием кардиома. Ребята здесь? Я вас не ждала. Кстати, да. Hi everybody, I'm Roman and uh, I'll tell you a story, a uh, sad story, <laughs> <laughs> but real. Uh, three years ago uh, my, my friend's mother had a stroke. Uh, she lived uh, all along in another city. Uh, she had uh, she had uh, passive lifestyle. Uh, he uh, calls uh, her and uh, answer about uh, her life. <coughs> And uh, always she asked him, "Everybody okay? Uh, don't uh, don't worry, all okay." Uh, but uh, he don't know uh, what happened with she. Uh, he don't know. Uh, uh, he don't know her real condition at this moment and before. Uh, and uh, it's uh, very sad. But uh, I have mom too. She uh, lived live in uh, another city all along too. And uh, I, uh, I'm very worried about uh, her. And I don't know how uh, she feel uh, at this moment. Do you know how feel how I feel our parents at this now right now? How um, how many I know it? And I don't know. Uh, And uh, and uh, when we were a child, our mother always knows all about us, about our health, uh, all. Uh, and uh, it's a problem. We. Uh, Our our uh, our parents uh, need uh, to uh, uh, need to our uh, attention and uh, uh, because uh, they uh, have uh, the age related uh, age related problems. So we need uh, something uh, to um, track uh, uh, the health of our relatives. I, uh, I have analyzed uh, all variables devices uh, uh, on the market and uh, developed uh, Cardioma. Device that could save your folks life by 24-7 health monitoring. It uh, it collects uh, a lot of uh, vital information. Uh, you have thirty seconds. And, uh, and stores in uh, cloud uh, service with uh, uh, secret access. Our bus uh, our business model is quite simple. Sales. 
our growth strategy uh, included uh, uh, global pro production, global sales, and worldwide uh, data access. Please finish soon. <laughs> We did this. Our team. Okay. Our team. Thank you. I, I think okay. uh, questions will help you to uh, continue. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Is this considered a medical device? I'm sorry. Is this considered a medical device? It's uh, only consumer device, uh, but uh, uh, a lot of medical device has uh, pleasant, uh, pleasant on the market. Will it require the FDA approval? Uh, at uh, this moment, we do not require uh, FDA approved, uh, but I want uh, to uh, take, take it. And how does it work? Uh, uh, this is. Model of prototype. Uh, it, uh, it, it, uh, on my chest, uh, stick, stick on my chest, yeah. and the data with uh, it uh, on uh, to smartphone and uh, with smartphone to about. Now, <laughs> my pulse. <laughs> my heart, no. <laughs> Fly away. <laughs> and Any question? Can you start dancing for us so it goes up? Dancing? I'm kidding. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. We have we have a question. <laughs> okay. Do we have a question or no? Okay. Okay. Yeah. We will wait. А пока мы ждем, я анонсирую так слегка анонсирую, но следующий наш стартап, который будет выступать, это ребята, которые представляют свой проект совсем совсем в другой отрасли. И э, что интересно, они э, выпускники, да, это называется выпускники, инкубатор 1991, как раз вот проект Western NIS, нашего партнера, да, который соорганизатор нашего мероприятия, и называется он Эгриай. Можете подходить ко мне, да. Сейчас мы перезвоним, чтобы все вас слышали. А микрофон вы можете пока тоже брать на столе. Свой я вам не дам. Окей, okay, всем привет. Пульт от Кандера. Um, сейчас мы сконнектимся. Это же международный конкурс все-таки. Поэтому у нас разные страны. Time's up. Yeah. Hi everyone, my name is Andre and I'm CEO of AgriAI Project. This is a smart land farming solution. In our solution, we are united uh, open data, the G service, 
brand analytics and a focus on product culture. We have three main audiences. They are farmers, the market players, and the state. There are 40,000 platforms in Ukraine, and 100 of them are the holding, the big one. They all own about $20 billion revenue annually, and they are low efficient, and they are so exhausting. The market players are the traders, and the people who are trading the fertilizers and the chemistry for agriculture, and there's about 11,520 companies in Ukraine with $17.3 billion revenue annually. And the market is unknown, and they are taking risks and lost profits. And the state is the biggest landowner, uh, about 30 million hectares of land farms, as a market regulator, and 11% of budget are coming from the agriculture. And the state lost 50,000 hectares of land farms annually because of soil as housing and erosion. And it's about, by data from the World Bank, $10 million, $10 million annual loss. And the farmers like to be effective. They like to, to keep safe soil, and they like to spare resources and money. The market players, they like to know more about their customer and to see their direct problems to offer direct solution. And the state, they like to know uh, what the state of the soil is, to operate it and enter the soil saving strategy. Now, the state uh, try to implement the solution based on the paperwork, and it's not effective, it's not working at all. And the farmers, for forecasting, they're using NDVI, and here you can see the two photos from the satellite, it's Landsat 5, with a difference by one day. And here you can see, on the photo on the right, the colors are dark, which means the vegetation is in good condition, and the photo on the left, which is more light, means the vegetation in bad condition. And there is no any possibility that such changes can be in one day. So, we are offering a solution, able to spare 30% of the cost farmers use to grow their yield. We will show their problems to the market players and the traders, which will allow them to offer direct solution by, with fertilizers and uh, agrochemistry. And we will give a state possibility to save soil. Okay, then underline magic. Uh, the sensor we are developing is able to sense the absolute measurement parameters by a uh, special correcting system, which is based on the Teletine hyperspectral correction sensor. And this is a demo. Uh, we use the quadcopter to analyze the field with uh, multispectral imaging, which allows to predict the yield, uh, to monitor the state of the crop, and to introduce the technical chart for the machines uh, to run the, uh, run the agriculture in automation. And that's a part of demo of uh, verb service, which was development for Ministry of Agriculture and Food of Ukraine. Uh, to represent the soil chart of Ukraine based on the open data of agrochemical passports. The market. Uh, now the market of agri-consulting in Ukraine is about $10 million annually, and the world is about $11 billion. It's now some information dated by 2015. And Ukraine is one of the leaders of the food expert in the world, but among the last places uh, about agro-consulting. We believe in 2012 the uh, market in Ukraine will be about $1 billion and total warm-up will be $15 billion and that's create the $4 billion opportunity. The competitors. The quite similar projects are Gamaya, this uh, Switzerland-based company. They are developing their own sensor, their own software. The Synergy is Australian-based corporation. They are normally trade with electricity, but now they are busy with agriculture as well. They are more peer in this uh, Southern American project. And uh, there are the guys who produce hardware only, the Parrot and iPro. And out of competition is uh, ESD Soft and Teledyne Technologies. You have 30 seconds. Yeah, OK. It's about now other advantages. And we are targeting the small and medium land farmers. And we are bringing them solution affordable only for corporations by now. The business model. Uh, we are offering uh, hardware and software as a service 
as agri-sense for farmers, why one dollar per hectare annual fee? Uh, for agro consulting companies, is one thousand dollars annually, and for traders and agrochemistry to see the problems of their customers and to see all the customer list about three thousand dollars annually. That would seem save me and all the people have more than five years experience in project management and our advisors. Okay, so now we have a ready working hardware uh, and. Uh, and thank you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> In your competition slide, uh, you didn't mention Corpio, the company that works in Ukraine. How are you different from that company? Uh, well, I actually don't know much about Corpio. Uh, but our main, uh, they're actually developing the, the, same, the same system as we do, but we're using different technology and a totally new uh, spectral correction system, which is not present on the market now. The most close to us is uh, a solution by MikaSense called Sequoia, and they're using a correction sensor covering all light diapason available in atmosphere, and we're developing the close <coughs> narrow spectral band sensor for correction. But Corvia is uh, mainly solving the same problem for the, for the clients with the software, but you are doing a lot of hardware stuff to, start, to solve the same problem. This is how you're different. So my question to you, can you do like, like they do, by using software with no hardware? Uh, I think uh, our, our main advantage is the hardware, which allows to get uh, very accurate readings. Okay. No, because most, uh, most spectral cameras have the same problem the satellite have. The satellite is using the same spectral camera as a uh, small one on drones. But is that essential to the clients, that accuracy? Yeah, it is. Today we get a meeting with Swarov, and uh, they say that our solution is one of the best. Okay. Have you already received donation, or did you get uh, the money? There is a part of the project with Jake, just for the state, and we are now... Uh, no, not yet. And uh, now we are cooperating with Vladislava Rutitska uh, of Ministry of uh, Agriculture and Food uh, to run the pilot project in Odessa and Lviv. And now we are assembling a team who will be busy with the data opening, the digitalization of data, and uh, creating the GIS service for that one. From whom are you going to receive this donation? Uh, this data was uh, gathered by the uh, Order of Ministry of Agriculture Fund number 435, something like that from year 2011, and it is stored locally in the regional departments of Institute of Cell Safe of Ukraine. And the sensor that you use, you, you buy the sensor, you're not developing No, we're software. developing the sensor. You're developing yeah, it for uh, It's a charge coupled device uh, covered with a special microfilter matrix. The microfilter matrix is uh, designed the same way as a normal RGB microfilter matrix but with a narrow spectral band filters. And you have a prototype already? Uh, we have a prototype uh, uh, able to, uh, for hypothesis testing, but we don't have yet a prototype able to fly with a drone. Thank you. Uh, we have time for one question, if any. Okay, no, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Следующий проект, вот я вижу уже готовится, выступающий, опять-таки представит классный девайс, который позаботится, поможет заботиться вам о вашем здоровье. Кардиолайз, встречайте. И плод, пожалуйста, готов. Can I ask you to give me access to the space bar? I saw that there are some problems with the speaker. Oops. <laughs> it's no a situation for me to make my speech without presentation, so it's, it's not a problem actually. <laughs> well, Bakter is here. Okay, I'm ready. Yeah? Uh, hello everybody, my name is Eugene and I want to introduce Cardell Lies to you. Our heart is source of our lives, but also it is a killer number one in the world. Every year, heart disorders kill over 17 million people. 
And the easiest way to, uh, to learn something about our heart is a steel electrocardiogram. In fact, a very limited number of people can read this vital information. They are cardiologists, busy people with long chains near the office. To change the situation, we have created Cardiolyze. It is an ECG processing platform with access to our powerful algorithms for any manufacturer or researcher by API. This algorithm analyzes electrocardiograms and shows the whole picture about actual heart state in form understandable for everyone. Also, you get uh, actionable recommendations based on your results, not average or common ones. And the really important and unique part is that you receive the forecast about dangerous cardiovascular diseases. Cardiolyze shows information according to your goal. It is useful not only for uh, recovery process, but also for sport, education, and research work. Well, how it, how it works? You measure your ECG with any variable or fixed ECG recorder. It transfers your ECG to uh, the Cardiolyze Cloud, where we define over 250 different parameters, all essential for your heart. Then our algorithms analyze all these parameters and uh, 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 analyze all these uh, parameters in less than in two seconds, like no doctor would. And the results is shown on your phone or in your personal dashboard. You may share this data with your doctor, with trusted ones, insurance company, or your family. And it's only up to you what amount of information and in which format they will get. For example, your doctor, you share with your doctor raw data, but your family will receive information in a human language. It's just like when you call your mom and don't ask about your health because you already have the answer. Uh, Cardialize API's customers will be able to create really flexible data-based info flows according to the aim of their products. And uh, the point is that any ECG format can be analyzed thanks to our full-featured API. We have created a mobile SDK and a portable ECG recorder available for our partners if they need it. And our algorithm is already working in the cloud with data, but the API part is on its way. With Cardialyze, we solve really arrogant uh, problems related to the heart health. They are on-demand medicine and treating us as averages. Pity, but often, when something went wrong with our heart, it's already too late to act. Heart disorders are sudden guests unless you are prepared, and with Cardialyze, you really will. Cardialyze gives you all control tools on your personal data. Cardialyze is a vital solutions for, solution for doctors, researchers, insurance companies, sport teams, and ordinary, pe ordinary people like you and me. Our strategy partners are health solution manufacturers with their own ECG devices. They will get a value-based uh, pricing model. We perform the biggest cardio screening in the Eastern Europe for over 26,000 of people. 27 lives were saved. Thanks to Cardiolize, they were hospitalized immediately and cured. Moreover, leading scientists from the University of Oxford and China Kadori Bank are using our algorithm for their research. And the professional sport teams approve the high value of our recommendations by incredible results and top positions in standings. And the health market is going to be huge. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, we are sure that our main competitors like Alike, Alive Org, Guardio, Cardio Secure, Cardiooma, uh, will keep become our partners. They will be able to improve their product with the best cardio analytics on the market. And uh, we, <clears throat> we hope that guys will create cardio wearable for us, uh, for Conceptor either. Uh, so, uh, right now, on the pro uh, right now, over 10, 20 top-level professionals are involved on Cardialyze project right now. So this is just the story beginning, but it's the end of my speech. I'm Eugene from Cardialyze, and we are here to make data-driven healthcare to come true. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. What was that device on the right-hand side? 
Uh, okay, we have created portable ECG device, uh, uh, first of all, to test our capabilities, the capabilities of our algorithm. So uh, this device is used for our tests. Also, all these technologies, uh, because we've, we've performed a lot of work to uh, create this device. Uh, we've created uh, six line, uh, six signals and five um, uh, leads uh, ECG recorders uh, uh, with this. So we can share this information with our partners. So. Uh, we're not only working on this market, but we also can create this market with other guys who don't have uh, uh, these technologies yet, but, have, but they have capabilities uh, to uh, make this market possible. For example, our partners from China and India, when, uh, they have capabilities to share these technologies, but they don't have the devices and mobile apps yet. We are ready to give them this information absolutely for free, because they will be using our API. Different from the how is it different by doctor where he can set the cardiogram to a, a cardiologist across the United States? How would this differ? And he sends the actual real, real data in real time. Uh, okay, if, if uh, I understood the question right, uh, it's uh, not for cardiologists, it is for people. We are making cardiogram uh, understandable for everyone. Uh, okay. in, uh, including elder people, their parents. Also, uh, we can uh, perform the, uh, we can make uh, trainings for sportsmen more efficient uh, to fit their training in their, uh, to, to their ha heart, because it's really important. And we approved that it is possible with uh, the professional sport teams. But also, we can work with professional cardiologists uh, who uh, will see uh, much more information about their patients, including trends, for example. Okay. You have a good problem to solve, but what is your uh, go-to-market strategy? How you already achieved your current contracts and how you're going to continue to do it? Okay, great, great question. So, uh, we negotiated uh, uh, contracts with uh, uh, Oxford University and China Kadoriga Bank. Uh, we are uh, on the signing process with the China Kadoriga Bank to analyze more than half of a million uh, electrocardiograms because they have a lot of problems uh, to analyze such a huge amount of data. And we can perform the, it for, uh, for them for lower price and uh, with more information because we also are ready to uh, give them not only, for example, Minnesota analytics, but, but we also can give them the prediction because uh, the, uh, one of the main targets we uh, want to, to get is a predic prediction. It's re really important and we can do this thanks to our algorithms. So in your team, you're doing this contract? Uh, no, no, in my team, uh, Anna Starinska is the chief executive officer. She's okay. here. Uh, you can talk with her and she can tell a lot much more about these contracts. Okay. Do you have a doctor in your team? Huh? Sorry? Do you have a doctor? Yes, of course, we have a lot of doctors. Uh, moreover, uh, as I mentioned, we have performed the biggest cardio screen in Ukraine, and there were involved more than 20 different cardiologists. It's not one doctor. We have a chief science officer. Uh, it is a, a professor of uh, cardiology, and he has a team uh, who support, uh, which supports uh, him in the, his researches. So do you guys do any medical research, medical studies? Do yes. you have any documents, documents that will prove yes. that it was done? Yes, of course. So as I mentioned, uh, we are always testing our algorithms. We have to prove for us, uh, at the first for ourselves that it works. And uh, right now we can say it for sure, because uh, 26,000 people, it is a huge number. And we, won't, uh, we aren't stopped. So we're still working on it, and uh, we're still testing, 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 and uh, uh, China Kaduri Biabank, it is a good opportunity to approve uh, that our algorithm uh, works uh, either. It is a huge number of electrocardiograms, so it is a good social proof. Oxford University, China Kaduri Biabank, the well-known names in the science community, uh, but also it is our uh, knowledge is so we can uh, even make our algorithm, algorithm better. We are working on them every day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. For your У нас еще один классный проект, который разработан ребятами для дизайнера специально и называется Flores. Я знаю.
Hi everyone, we are Flawless and we are giving freedom to developers and designers from routine slavery. For the last 12 months we spoke with more than 200 designers and developers. We carefully listened to their problem and verified it is very difficult to deliver high quality product on time and that current workflow is completely broken, it's complex, time consuming and full of routine tasks. Develop designer has to waste much of his professional time to manually create guidelines on design. In most cases, ZIP guidelines will be incomplete, so final implementation will be totally different from expected design, which leads to project delays, of course. Flawless helps get pixel perfect visual quality of mobile app without routine tasks. It's a web app with two plugins for graphic editor and development environment. Plugin for designer automatically create guidelines on design. Developer gets these guidelines as ready to paste code. They just drag and drop your elements straight into the code. The best part, developer can visually compare final implementation with initial design in real time. This prevents any possible visual mistake before it costs you money. We target on a team leads designers and developers who use products often on subscription base. So we provide familiar purchase model with flexible pricing. Opportunity is huge over there. So far it was 12 million mobile teams who work freelance and in-house. It's a global, massive and growing market. I guess you know about it. Interesting that current player focus on designers mostly. We decided to focus on iOS mobile teams because it's pixel perfect oriented and really well paid community. For this audience, we provide more benefits than any current direct competitors. Flawless gives a unique feature of quality control with comparison of expected and implemented design. It works right inside iOS environment, so it speeds up project delivery twice. We started our project one year ago at Garage 48. We accelerated at Startup Sound and Lisbon Challenge. Now we have a live product with 100 testers who use it daily. We had 950 subscribers from different companies. We choose just 100 of them to test and get the feedback from these guys. We have a testers from such a company like EPOM, Wanderlist, Petcube, Cupertino, and even Conceptor, which is here, I guess. And so far, the overall feedback is really positive. The next step is polishing beta and launching a paid version. I think some of you may ask, oh, so I don't have a revenue right now. Yes, we don't have. But we have a people who love to use the product. And sales is just a question of very short time. Everybody tells that the team is super professionals with 300 years of experience. Well, we have these guys, we love them. They have expertise in design, development, and passion to work for like a year without any salary. So we could drop our product development and did something that those 100 people thought they like and would like to pay for. We see a huge interest to our tool on an actively growing market. And we are looking for investment to move even faster than now. We revolutionize the way how developers and designers cooperate. And we will appreciate your feedback and advice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, who would like to ask a question, please? <laughs> OK. Well, it's, it's for a clear presentation. Uh, can you elaborate more on the, your go-to-market strategy? We think a lot about this, and for now what works for us best is working with community leaders. 
We have um, 1,000 people, designers and developers, who take part in every suite, IS, or sketch um, conference. We will, we will already communicate with them. We will ask them to test the product, to give the feedback, and to share with their community. It's free, and it's the best way to have variety in this community. It's first way. Another way is uh, a big one is working with uh, uh, professional media. We have more than 300 resources directly for iOS and Sketch, and we know every editor of this resource as well. We would like to have free publications there and some maybe a, a paid um, advertisers as well. It's uh, the nearest steps to do. Another one is cooperation with Upwork and Freelance to be featured there, but it's not for now. It's community leaders and the professional press. And also, I'd like to add that those 100 people is not just regular developers, it's social active leader of thoughts, which can spread flawless uh, to, to their network. As well. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, you mentioned that you are raising $120,000, right? Uh, it's money which we can collate. We need uh, for, for salaries. Basically, we need somebody who will advise us how much money we need for sales in US. We don't know what salary people, sales people would have in US, so we need partner who will advise us how much money we need additional for sales in outside outside. Uh, but how you do sales now? Uh, we do it for free. We find people who tell us, "Wow, guys, it's really awesome. Give me a try," and I will tell the community. This is what we do right now, and it works. Okay. Uh, maybe it's too early, but what what have you learned so far from your existed one hundred? Clients. Yeah, it's a really great question. We have a great community because it's designers, developers, they show us literally mistakes and how to fix these mistakes. I can tell, tell more. Yeah, uh, it's, it's very nice to test with developers and designers because they not just notice the problem, they just try to uh, show us how to solve this problem. It's really cool, yeah. And they were they was very active, uh, are currently very active, like writing to us every day, every hour. Yeah, and uh, we validate a lot of uh, like feature assumption about comparison, about guidelines, which is most uh, valuable for them, a lot of good insight. Uh, the most important one is people would like to have comparison feature and they would like to pay for it. So it, uh, this one, it's uniquely a feature on the market and people love it uh, more than guidelines. It's first one and second one, we've got like 40, 50 people who are just invited. Uh, for, it's like variety. Well, we are in the outsourcing capital of the world, or at least Europe. Every other person I meet is a mobile developer. How are you moving this product within Ukraine? How many more companies, how many mobile developers in Ukraine use this product? Uh, for now, we have guys from IPA, from Elastic. Uh, Yolandis. Yolandis, uh, SoftServe, and, but uh, those guys, they use it, I guess, for personal purpose. And when we will finish this private testing, we will contact the biggest outsourcing company as well and provide them opportunity to try and then to pay for it. So we have these plans as well. And it's easy to do because uh, everybody is closed here and we can just ask interest. Quick question, how is your competitors monetize uh, the product? I mean, average pricing, just to uh, the yes, idea. They use subscription model fee. Usually it's ten dollars per freelancer and like fifteen twenty dollars per team, and from uh, five hundred dollars for big companies as well. They don't use year payment, and we think that we will have a, a trial a subscription fee and year payment as well. But any differentiators from your competitors that you would have about in the in the terms of price? Not only price. I mean, okay, maybe price. I don't know. Okay, if we speak about price, we can uh, give smaller one because we have a uh, lower burn rate. But I don't see the reason to invent the wheel if people already pay for this in subscription based. But why would they leave the existing service for you? That's my question. Right. Uh, they should not leave. We can add value because none of competitors do have a comparison. Whatever. Uh, they can use, uh, for example, those guys for guideline creation and our feature for finding mistakes. We even have guys guide from our competitor company who is our product, so why not to cooperate with them? Okay, let them do a guideline creation and we can do comparison. It's, there is no problem with this. That's actually uh, an idea because they don't need to leave. Uh, we exist as a plugin, so we integrate into current solution and add value to current solution. So that's the idea. Interesting that the guy from Wanderlist told us, uh, can I use it together with Zeppelin? I mean, yes, why not? 
So the market is already exists. It's like one year and a half old. For such tools as ours, it's still young, but people already know about this tool. So it's good for us. Good for you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And uh, we have the last but not the least, as they say. Следующий стартап, ну, наверное, больше же даже, конечно, будет у девочек. Но, тем не менее, Клуис, наши уважаемые жюри, хочу напомнить, что это последний стартап, мы ждем ваших голосов. My name is Людмила Небожак, and uh, me and my team have created personal stylist and smart shopping assistant, um, and it helps people to solve everyday problem what to wear. Um, what to wear? Have you ever saw how many times uh, this problem takes every day? Uh, statistics shows that. Uh, to make this decision, people spend a year of their lives. <coughs> um, the clothing market is huge. An average US family spent almost $2,000 a year on clothing and throw away 29 kilos clothing yearly. It's insane. insane. Um, Many people um, complain that their clothes are awful, but they have nothing to wear. How to deal with this? Uh, well, you can hire your personal stylist, or you can wear the same clothes every day, or you can use clothes and uh, discover the new way of, cho of choosing and managing your wardrobe. Um, Cleese is everything about clothes. It will help you to organize your wardrobe and all your clothing will be right in your smartphone. And uh, it will recognize your clothing and helps you to create uh, looks for every day. Please helps you to find and buy clothes you really need. Um, by using technology and science, please uh, digitize your wardrobe. Just take a photo of an item and, and it will recognize it. Style, type, pattern, just within seconds. Um, please based on machine learning. Uh, this means the more you use it, uh, the better she understands you. Uh, please create for your looks day to day, uh, taking into account your style, preferences, uh, current weather and the event you are going to. Um, um, so, we collected uh, the data about millions of garments our users have in their closets. What's next? Uh, just in a week, uh, we are launching a major up, uh, update which upgrades Clees to unique shopping assistant. Um, Clees will offer you clothes you really need. It will simplify mobile shopping and provide you the best and the much um, relevant clothes uh, which will fit to your wardrobe. Um, so, uh, fashion brands already upload uh, their collections to our app and our smart system will offer you to buy products uh, which you could try on to your wardrobe and uh, see how to combine them with items you already have. Um, we present our beta version of police to our loyal users and they love it. Police is everything about clothing in one product, wardrobe, style and shopping. Um, we have to dress better people from Europe and the USA. 
um, we have been featured at major uh, media uh, around the world and uh, we want to make people's life easier and we dream to digitize fashion industry in a completely new way. Thanks. And do I understand correctly that in order to make this task force, I have to photograph everything in my closet, shoes, clothes, everything, in order to have a database. Otherwise, you've got nothing to start with, right? Um, excuse me, could you please repeat one more time? I can't hear you, sorry. C could you please repeat the question? Sorry, I didn't hear it. Yes, uh, do I understand you correctly that in order for the app to work, I have to photograph every article of clothing, shoes, yeah. whatever, yeah. and back in my closet so that you have a database? Uh, all uh, start from your wardrobe because our smart stylist uh, could uh, recommend you something only if you add your clothes to clues. And that's why we uh, developed our recognizing system uh, that helps you to make it quickly. So you could uh, just take a photo and the app will uh, answer you what type of garment you add to it. So the work is on the consumer to be able to photograph everything to give you the database and then presumably to the clothes as they're thrown away to make it accurate, right? Um, you can delete clothes when you don't need them anymore, yes? Of course. Uh, we, uh, we create the futures which helps people not only buy but sell their clothes too because uh, everyone knows this problem when you buy uh, some item and you don't understand why you uh, bought it and you could sell it to a person who really need it. So yeah, you could add, delete, buy, and sell, and uh, track your orders, find some inspiration, and get suggestions for buying. Okay, so the app makes a decision of what to put things together, as opposed to anything else. And so that's, uh, that's where you need information about my likes and dislikes in order for the AI to work properly, correct? Yeah. Uh, please know everything what you do with your clothes, how you combine it, how you, um, um, if you like other people looks or you dislike, if you like uh, the offers and combinations that Louise offers you, and uh, she learns, analyzes, and uh, dynamically learning and self-improving. Thank you. Okay, you, you have a good presentation, product presentation, but uh, a few slides are missing uh, about the clients, how many clients you have, traction, and your team. We see you, but we don't see your team. Uh, yeah, I have a wonderful team. Uh, now it's uh, uh, 15 uh, people. We are based in Ukraine, in Kyiv. And uh, about our users, uh, for now we have 300,000 users from all over the world. Uh, the most of um, them are from USA and Italy. And okay. So. okay, and how are you uh, going to monetize your users? How are you, how are you going to monetize with your business model? Um, uh, Louis is a platform for developing brands and if we know what people's like, we could offer them uh, clothing they really, they really need. So uh, we start to, uh, to collaborate with brands now and we could um, offer sellers um, the new system of searching their clients. Uh, any other products like that that solving the same problem in the market? There are a few uh, products that help you to organize your wardrobes and there are a few products that offers you uh, some uh, purchases by selecting uh, clothes with real uh, styles. But uh, the benefits of Louis is machine learning because uh, it's uh, 
replace entire army of stylists. Um, and if you would like to have many users, you uh, never could find so, so many stylists to help them to pick um, products. Uh, have I understood correctly? You have uh, 300,000 installed apps. Yeah. Okay. And how many are they? Free. They're free. Yeah, we are free and we will still free. And we have uh, apps for iOS, Android and website. Thank you. So this was the last startup. Um, это был последний стартап. Сейчас мы возьмем небольшую паузу для того, чтобы э, жюри финализировало свои мнения по поводу э, выступающих, проголосовало. Мы подсчитаем и э, через 5-7 минут мы встретимся здесь для вручения призов и выборов победителей.